Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemedia.org. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. So today uh, I'm replacing my Switch Pro Controller and it is not with a new Pro Controller. It, I went with a third party brand this time. Uh, let's get it unboxed and check it out. Alright, so uh, my Switch Pro Controller is by far my favorite controller from any system that I own. And I bought it three years ago when I bought my Switch um, and I use it a ton. So it is getting a little long in the tooth. It's very noticeably worn out. And rather than replace it with another Pro Controller, I was kind of waiting for Nintendo to release something else. Uh, another Pro Controller with like a different design. Um, not that I don't like the original design, I think it looks fine. But, I, you know, just kind of change it up a little bit. Um, when I needed a wireless controller to use out here in my office slash game room, um, I went with Power A, which is the, the company that we have here. Um, I bought their Zelda themed enhanced uh, wireless controller. And I mean, it has the same feel as the Switch Pro controller, just it doesn't have the same fit and finish. The buttons don't feel as quality. And obviously it's not rechargeable. You, you swap the batteries out uh, on the back here. Um, but aside from that, the controller works fine. Um, I mean, the, it's a nice product. And so when they announced uh, the Fusion for the Nintendo Switch, this guy here, um, I was very interested in it. In it. Uh, I was very interested in it. It caught my interest right away. And so I went ahead and pre-ordered it. Uh, it's been about three weeks, I think, or maybe even over a month now since I pre-ordered it. And I've been anxiously awaiting its arrival and it finally came. And so let's get it out of the box and check it out, shall we? So what was appealing to me when they announced this thing. Oh, they include a nice uh, a nice travel case, I like that. Um, anyhow, what appealed to me when they announced this thing was the, uh, the programmable triggers and the swappable faceplate. So that I'm hoping that down the line, looks like this is just some paperwork. And yeah, paperwork and instructions on how to program and swap the face and the buttons. Um, anyhow, I was hoping that down the line they would release some customized faceplates for this guy. Uh, I'm really a, a huge uh, Zelda fan, so it would be nice if they released a, a Zelda-themed faceplate for this. I would definitely buy it. Uh, for now, you just have the option of black and white, and it comes with both, I believe. I could be mistaken. I hope I'm not mistaken, because <laughs> I thought it comes with both. But anyways, let's check it out. Um, the description reminded me a lot of the uh, Xbox Elite controller. So the traveling case that they include, I mean, this thing is really sturdy. Uh, I'm very impressed with it, actually. Uh, I wouldn't be bothered by throwing this in a bag at all. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, it's definitely going to offer a lot of protection for the controller itself. And ooh, there it is. So we have a nice long braided USB-C cable. I mean, man, look at that thing. That's a long cable. I like that. And then as I mentioned, the uh, analog sticks are interchangeable. So there's another set of analog sticks. The controller itself, it's got some good heft to it. I'm not sure what that is. And then up here on the top flap, yep, it does include the white. So you have two faceplate options. You have white and black. Um, the white one was pretty cool. It's got this orange accent around the analog sticks, which I thought was pretty cool. And it's got its own spot in the case itself. 
That's awesome. There's a little button here that says open and close, up, down. I don't know what the, I don't know if it has like a secret compartment or something I'm missing, but I don't know. Let's get this out of the way for now. Check out the controller. Oh yeah, this is a, this has really got some heft to it. It feels a lot like, oh, and it's got a rubberized finish. Oh man, I like this. This is so nice. It's got a really nice rubberized texture to the finish. Um, fit, fit and finish, like overall quality, man, these buttons are nice and stiff. The weight of this thing is a, a lot like a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. It's actually even a, just a tad bit heavier. Um, feels really good in hand. Very nice quality. Um, there's the programmable triggers on the back side there. And that looks like the on off switch. Let's see, did that turn it off? It did, all right. It was trying to pair, so it was on. And that button is what it looks like for pairing. No, that's up here. I don't know what this button's for. I'll have to read the instructions on that guy. And then from what I understand, the faceplate itself is just magnetic. Yep, just pops right off, that's cool. Pops right off. Snap the white one back in place, and there you go. Uh, the white one has kind of a textured finish. It's not rubberized like the black one. Uh, still really good quality. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, so far very happy with my purchase on this guy. I mean, this thing is just, it's very, very nice. Very well built. Uh, it's got the headphone jack underneath there. Yeah, very good quality. So aside from the programmable triggers, I mean, you've got all the normal uh, Nintendo Switch buttons, the uh, B, A, X, and Y. You have a D-pad. The D-pad feels nice. D-pad's nice and stiff. The analog sticks are, are, oh man, this is just a really nice controller, really nice experience. So let's see, how easy is it to swap out these analog sticks? Do they unscrew? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to read the instructions. I don't want to break anything. That would make me really sad. Let's put the black one back on. Now, both of these face plates, like I said, are really nice, but I, I really prefer the rubberized finish on this black one. Um, this black face plate is it's just really nice. I like it. The white one's cool. Like I said, I, I really like the, the orange accents, but anyhow, let's get this guy paired up to my Nintendo Switch and give it a go, shall we?
please. Resident Evil Revelations. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. And stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all <laughs> It's a trap. Yeah, that almost guarantees it. Ryan, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? So the FBC is on this ship, too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea.
All right, so uh, I have not played with the programmable trigger yet, but overall, this is a, an awesome controller. Uh, a bit pricey at $99, but I mean, for what you get, as compared to just the regular Switch Pro controller, it's well worth the money. Uh, fit and finish is excellent. Um, I love the, the quick uh, swappable face plates, um, the replaceable um, analog sticks, and just the fit, finish, quality. Um, the buttons are very nice. Everything is very nice about this controller. I highly recommend it. If you, if you love your Switch Pro controller, and like me, yours is getting a little worn out, you've had it for a while, and you're looking for a replacement, this is by far the best option out there. Um, like I said, it's a little pricey. Um, Switch Pro controller retails for $60, I believe. This one right now is retailing for $99. Maybe wait till it gets closer to the holidays, maybe they'll have a sale. But I really feel for what you get and how good the quality is on this controller, the price point is fine. You won't regret it. Uh, it's a very awesome experience and I'm very happy with my purchase and I look forward to using this for uh, years to come. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thanks again for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. I hope you have a great afternoon and like always, thank you for watching.